Now, these two split and wrap have to do with how you work the five text displays groupings. If you noticed on the other videos, there's a main and a mod section for each of the five text screens. Main mean general information, mod, mod being the modulation sources. Originally I had it set up so that you could only get to the main screens when you're on the main button and similar, only get to the modulation pages while you're on the mod button. And that's called split mode now. If you don't want to do that, you turn that off. And now you can access, just using the ink deck pages, the up down, you can access all pages without any division. Wrap around, this allows you to select through all the pages uh, and uh, you never get to the end if wrap is on. You keep wrapping around. What I like to do, especially on a new synth, is not have any wrap around so that when I'm selecting through all the possible entries, I want to know I'm at the end of the list. I've seen everything. So I would say initially, well, it depends on your point of view. Some people like it wrap around and some people don't. So we offer both of those. And the last button over here is save. This has to do with the global parameters. Globals have a uh, their own separate save. So to do that you have to turn this on and then when it's active you hit enter button. Okay? Now I do mention oh and one more here. Ah, MIDI. MIDI has two pages. The first page is the MIDI channel, program change, send the arpeggiator out, mode, omni mode on or off, local on or off, transmit NRPN, receive NRPN. MIDI controllers on or off, clock source internal or external, and MIDI volume on or off. The uh, knobs, all the knobs, all the parameters in the synth uh, are sent out as non-registered parameter numbers, so that's why we have the transmit and receive NRPN. And on our second page here, two of two, these are simply five continuous controllers that you can assign in the system. So we can decide that CC2, for example, is going to be you know controller 28 and then later on I can go into my modulation matrix look for CC2 and assign that to do something in the mod matrix and whatever you know whatever number you've put onto CC2 that when that comes in will affect wherever you have it routed okay now let's take a look at the global pages the new global page here we have glide type, glide mode, glide range, and glide time. Now this is different than the oscillator glide. This is glide for the overall keyboard. If you recall in the oscillator video, each oscillator has its own separate glide value, which is exponential glide. Here we have a variety of glides. We have constant time, constant rate, which are linear, and an exponential as well. Below that we have glide time, or when we select rate, a percentage of the rate. Glide type is portamento or glissando, or fingered portamento or fingered glissando, which simply means when you're playing legato, fingered will only occur when the keys are held down from one to the next. If you lift off and play staccato style, uh, you won't hear any glide or glissando. And glissando is the semitoned stepped glide. Glide range is a newer function uh, and what this does will say how much of the range from one note to the next will actually allow us to be uh, to allow, allow glide to be heard. So in other words if I go from C to C and I go to 50 percent say I go from C60 to C72 at 50%, I'm not going to hear any glide effect until the pitch would be at about uh, halfway. So it would be like F sharp, F sharp on up. So this scales uh, the range that the glide takes effect away from the destination note. Okay, so those are the four glide controls. Here's what we had before, I believe, polyphonic or monophonic mode. Oh, no priority, low, last, and high. Legato uh, will have these two envelope reset and legato have to do with uh, when voices are being stolen. 
So legato reassign, uh, when you run out of voices and you steal one, and then when you let go of that, this will reassign it without a trigger, and then re-trigger will reassign it with a new trigger. Uh, envelope running, if you steal a voice and the envelope is already uh, halfway through its process, it'll the new voice will just take take off from there and keep going whereas uh, shutdown will force a restart of the envelope when the voice is stolen okay and these last two things are unison voice this is only when unison key is pressed there's a detune of the voices and there's a selection of how many voices now the first system is going to ship with ten voices working so if you were to dial up five unit voice that means when you turn on the unison, you can play two keys of five voice each stacked on each of the keys. Okay, so it's a unisono, I think some some people have called it. Um, and then the last mode, chord. If you hold down a chord and then press unison and then play a single note, you'll hear that entire chord stacked on that single note, and you can play up down the keyboard that way. Okay, now that was one of four. Let's look at the second glide page. This has to do with the expression pedal and sustain pedal assignments and also the two assignable buttons which are to the left of the octave switches on the front panel. This down on the bottom row is the polarity for all of those and for the two switches momentary or toggle modes. The expression pedal and the sustain pedals have a few things they can be assigned to. This is just expression and pan at the moment, but the sustain pedals have a little bit more function. Uh, we have sostenuto, sustain, ribbon hold, that's the same parameter that uh, where you don't have to hold down the ribbon, sequencer on, and arpeggiator on. Arpeggiator hold, uh, which allows you to use the pedal to lock the arpeggiator on. And then arpeggio transpose. This is a new function wherein, um, when you turn this on, everything that you've got in the arpeggiation is latched and then transposed from middle C. So if you play an E flat, then the whole thing, that the the whole arpeggiation will shift up a minor third, for example. Okay, so that's those are the assignments for the sustain pedals. Uh, the assignable switches have been expanded to have a lot of the glide control. Uh, this is Global Glide, the one I was showing you with the most recently. However, you can also independently control the glide of the four oscillators. So glide one, two, four, one, two, three, four. Or you can glide all of the oscillators separately. And this is a different on and off glide than the Global Glide. You can also put the ribbon hold in there, the ARP transposition. Okay. Let's look at the third global page. Transpose and pitch wheel range up and down can be separate ranges. Beats per minute also gets stored here as I may have mentioned. Uh, this is velocity table shape and velocity table sensitivity after touch shape and scaling. And here you'll want to set this to something so that you can uh, have velocity control. Okay and now the last page in global is not really anything <laughs> stored with a preset of its information for us. Uh, we should move this page to the system probably and it just tells us a little bit about what OS we're on, serial number and so on. So that's it. Um, thanks very much for listening and I hope you found this interesting and see you next time. Bye bye.